All right, so welcome back to another lounge video. And today I'm actually going to be doing a complete walkthrough of the lounge network on the GTA 5 roleplay of things. So this might be a 30, maybe a 20 minute video, but this video should hold a lot of value. So if you are a new member, um, this is a very important video if you do want to figure out exactly what to do when you join the server and what do you do after your training. So sit back, uh, grab a drink, and let's go through the whole network. So let's get started with things. This is the spot where most of you guys are gonna be uh, starting in when you firstly join the server. This is our welcome page, and it basically gives a little bit of information about our server. We are known for many different things, but uh, our main most focus in the network is our GTA 5 roleplay a thing. And this is our GTA 5 roleplay hub, and uh, this is where you wanna be if you want to be involved with uh, GTA 5 roleplay. We have many different channels. We got our alerts. This is uh, where we basically just alert any uh, events going on or anything basically important within the server. Next, we got our server rules. Very important to check out when you do read it. Make sure, click this thumbs up just so we know how many people actually join the server and how many people actually read it. So for example, we got 30,000 people in the server and only 2,000 people clicked it. That just shows you how many people actually read the rules. And uh, you do get a verification. A lot of people don't know this. We actually do not uh, really tell you you get a verification, but when you do click on it, you do get a verification. So if you do get in trouble, you might be a little bit more leaned. Uh, on your punishment because you do know the rules and it might have been an accident versus somebody who never read the rules and committed something like a fail role play scenario or whatever your punishment might be a little bit bigger so make sure you read the rules very simple rules we only have six rules in our server and that is nothing next we have our store as of right now it's 25 percent off a lot of people don't know we actually have a store and uh stores for donations and stuff like that are very important for any server to actually have um, this place you could basically get different packages uh, to improve your experience or just uh, support the server in general um, so for example for five bucks you can actually get the role player donator pack you actually do receive instant training uh, you get a special discord role you get 5,000 economy cash and you get some uh, special permission pack so you get some cool things and it's just a big way to support the server uh, financially of course we have our debates channel this is just basically a way for us to keep active with the community I very rarely do any debates but I normally do one each week and it's just uh, to see how active the community is at the end of the day uh, it's just a good way to keep the community active and a little war I guess you could say community debate on certain different things like Marvel vs DC 715 people said Marvel was better than the 117 people said uh, DC was better so just a little fun thing to do here is the next important category we got help me role play this category was actually created to help you guys role play faster so there's uh, four steps here basically when you join the server how to join the server how to get your roles, how to get fully set up, and how to get fully trained. As of right now, over 633 people found this actually helpful and about 78 people found this not helpful. So uh, a higher percentage, of course, uh, finding this helpful information. So maybe check this out if you don't want to sit through this 20 minute video. Continuing on, we got our role play events. Once a week, I post a different server wide event. So for example, this week on uh, Saturday, May 20th, we are actually hosting a cross country race. And this event will be happening on PlayStation and Xbox. So uh, in this event, there is $80,000 in prizes. First place gets 50,000, second place gets 20,000, third place gets 10,000. It's just a good way to keep the community active. Last week, we actually did a car show, which was actually pretty awesome. Um, and basically, we had prizes, we had all that type of stuff, and this was on Xbox and PlayStation. 
week before that we did something a little bit different actually and we did a money truck heist and this was actually really really cool i actually made a video on my main channel for this and it turned out pretty awesome next up we got chain of command so this is just basically the chain of the command of the server of course we have the ownership team myself as owner patrick as co-owner marvelous as co-owner Honcho is the director we got caleb as the director then we have then we have the management of the lounge so each different manager of different sections of the server we got mitchy as the hub manager we got pj of the assistant hub manager flixie as the economy manager miles as the economy manager assistant so so on then we got our administration team and then we got our moderation team we are always looking for new staff members as you can see we have a lot of positions open including a directorship position open and administrations uh, we got trainers positions open moderation positions so if you're ever curious or if you're ever interested to support the lounge a little bit further and uh, maybe consider joining our staff team next we got is our partnership program so this is actually a new program uh we're going to be promoting other servers and other companies uh social medias etc this is actually a program that i just started here today so it hasn't yet kick started yet but uh if you're ever looking for other gta servers all that type of stuff they should be a bunch of them within this category next we got our content category this is actually a new category what was just created today as well this is a category to check out uh, other people's uh, videos within our community so for example uh jd over here made actually a civilian trailer for the hub uh for the server which was pretty cool so if you guys watch it go check that video out link will be on the discord of course now we got pretty much the most important channels within the hub especially if you want to start role playing so we got the uh the category start role playing so firstly we got our platforms and these are the platforms we offer within our server. We have PlayStation and Xbox. So depending on what system platform you role play on, so if you play on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, click on the PlayStation symbol here. If you role play on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, you click on the Xbox symbol here. So it's very, very important. So you click on it, easy as that, and it'll be added to your role. Now the second most important uh, step you need to do when you're starting to role play is go to the organizations tab. You're going to click on this tab and here you will be greeted with multiple different organizations to join. So it is very important to pick an organization because if you do not pick an organization you will not be trained and if you're not trained you will not uh, be welcome into the server of course. So we have military recruits, the military organization. We have the police officer under the uh, police organization. We got firefighter and or paramedic under the fire organization. And of course we have civilian. Create your own story, of course, under the civilian organization. Choose wisely of the departments or organization you want to join under. So for example, if you want to join the police officer organization, click on the police officer symbol here. Same thing if you want to join the fire department, click on the fire department symbol. If you want to join a civilian, click on the civilian symbol here. So the next category we got is 5M. Now this category is actually created for anyone who is not on PlayStation, who is not on Xbox. This is strictly for only computer users. So basically a 5M server is a more an advanced GTA 5 roleplay community and we just created this a few days ago and we currently have 1300 people in there. It is currently under development as of right now. So if you do have a computer, highly, highly recommend checking out the server here and uh, yeah let's move on to the next category next we have the training category so this is the category which is going to get you started uh trainings are very very simple it's a part of the role play experience of course 
So first thing we have our training schedule. So the training schedule is just basically it gives you a schedule of the trainings of what's going on, etc. We got the civilian training, PlayStation and Xbox are currently no training scheduled for today. So this was yesterday on Wednesday. As of right now, it is Thursday, so make sure you check out the schedule for Thursday, and that should be updated very, very shortly, and uh, this is a good way to see the training schedules for each and every day. Next category is apply to become a trainer. So as I was stating earlier with our staff, we're always looking for staff members, so if you do want to apply to become a trainer, go to this category, fill out the application, and uh, we will for sure love for you to join the staff team because we do reward our staff members as well. So if you do many different trainings each and every week or whatever, uh, the trainers who do the most trainings, uh, you will be rewarded. Last week, we actually gave a $50 gift card and a $25 Amazon gift card to the two uh, most trainers. Next category, we have trainer reviews. So this is actually just basically a, a review sheet if you want to review. And uh, let's move on to the next category. Next category we have is Q&A alerts. So every day to every few days, we have some of our staff members volunteering, hosting a, a stage event of answering questions. Um, and they normally do this for about an hour to two or so. And they just answer any questions anyone has, which is a volunteer thing, which is kind of nice. Now we have uh, a few different servers within our network. We have the forum server, unfortunately that's not posted right now. Gaming server, that is not posted right now as well. And the 5M server, which is also not posted right now. It's just basically a category to uh, go to different Discord servers that we have within our network. This will be updated here hopefully soon. Now let's go through these ones as quick as possible. We have the uh, general chat. Within the general chat, you can ask questions, concerns, or whatever, or just talk to other members within the community. This chat is open for anyone and everyone to talk into. We have the support chat. Within this chat, you can also ask any questions or any concerns to our staff members. You'll get a response as hopefully as quick as possible. Now we have a few different activity channels. So we have favorite game. If you guys have any favorite games, make sure you're posted in here. We love to see the activity, of course, from our members. Favorite car category. This is a category to post your favorite cars, of course. So uh, another great area to uh, show some support and some activity and just hang out with the community. Favorite show or movie. Once again, just another quick spot to hang out, could discuss your favorite movies or whatever. So we got, for example, we got Breaking Bad, which is a pretty good show. Uh, Shameless is also another good show. John Wick, awesome movie. One of my favorite movies, actually. And Practical Joker is a really good show as well. So a uh, nice area to uh, get along and chill with the community, of course. Favorite sports, uh, another good spot. Shout out your favorite sports. Communicate with the community, of course. Next, we have movie night announcements. So we do activities with communities all the time. And uh, within here, we announce movie nights. So if you guys want to tag along and uh, watch a movie with everybody else, good spot to do it. We got general voice chat. Uh, the general voice chat is a place where you could speak, talk, all that type of stuff. And we got our movie night stage. Waiting for support. Uh, go here if you need any assistance. So this is the place where you want to go to uh, be moved and hopefully a staff member will actually assist you as soon as possible. Now we are getting to the very end here. So we have our training category. So since I clicked on the LEO or category for the police department, so uh, this is what I'm gonna get. So uh, this is the very first channel we got to LEO training alerts. Within here, you'll be alerted when there will be a training happening. So as of right now, it is actually 2 a.m. for me. So there's obviously no trainings happening right now for us. So uh, a few hours ago was posted, for example, what would be the best time to do training. So uh, just be active within these chats because we try to host as many trainings as we possibly can. Uh, 
For police department, we host one at least one a day or one every two days. It depends how many recruits are awaiting to be joining at the police department. Sometimes it's a little bit slower for the police department versus the civilian department. Just because civilian, we normally have a lot of people awaiting for training. And um, so we have maybe one or two trainings each and every day for the civilian department versus the, the LEO department. We got LEO test, so whenever you actually uh, do your training, you'll take the test, all that type of stuff, super duper simple, easy as that, as a part of the training experience, obviously. We have the police codes, uh, so this is the channel where you could get all the police codes, uh, different uniforms, how to fix your car, all that type of stuff. All the information you need is in here to become a police officer. Next, we got the LEO handbook, another great important thing for the LEO guide if you want to read that and get a head start within your training. In-game interactions, this is actually an important category within our main server. This is a good way to keep uh, active and all that type of stuff. And we have this in our main server just so you guys can actually have uh, the experience of role playing and stuff like that. And finally, the last channel we are actually going to be going through in this uh, Discord is the awaiting joining the training. So you're going to click on this channel and when there is a trainer available, you'll be moved into the training uh, channel and you'll be trained. And LEO trainings normally take about an hour to complete. Civilian trainings normally take about 15-20 minutes to complete and uh, they're very simple. It's a part of the roleplay experience. We teach you how to roleplay. We teach you about the server, how to join the server, etc. Alright, so next we have is the roleplay server itself. So, I'm going to try to go through this one as quick as I possibly can. I just want to explain the basics for you. So you are completely done your training. You have been accepted, you have been invited to the server. So, uh, this is the PlayStation server for an example. First thing you have is your welcome channel, then you have your alerts channel. This is an important channel uh, for any server alerts, changes, etc. You also have the donation store, you have the how to join section. So, this is very, very important. Uh, how to get started, of course. Step two, obviously you need PlayStation Plus to actually be able to be playing online. And so the, you have to have an online version to do that. Step three, you go to roll a sign and request your roles, of course. So if we go here, just request your roles, uh, all that type of stuff, whatever you're missing, if you are missing anything, of course. So uh, for example, like this person did follow in the uh, right format. Uh, when you got trained, who you got trained by, and the role that you are requesting, of course. Next, you got the CAD system. CAD systems are very important, of course, so this is our CAD. Next, we have step five. You got the patrol schedule, so in here you have the schedule of our patrols. So, for example, we had a patrol yesterday. Uh, and the AOP main area was in Sandy Shores. Then you have the gamer tag of the host. So this is the main guy who's actually inviting everybody to the session. Very, very important, of course, to join the session. To join the session, you must be uh, obviously a fully trained member and you must add him and he'll invite you to the private session on PlayStation or Xbox. And then that is pretty much it. Uh, step seven, you go to pre-session, you'll be invited. If there's a pre-session briefing or whatever, if you're LEO, there's normally a briefing, uh, just letting you know exactly what's going on, etc. cetera, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Step eight, uh, you gotta listen to the session host, obviously, yada, yada, yada. just obey the rules, uh, follow the rules, what you all know and learned through your training. Uh, so that's pretty much that it. Uh, the next channel we got is Chain of Command. This is the Chain of Command of the server, of course. We walked through that already. PS Walkthrough. This is basically what I'm doing, but in an announcement. So if you don't want to sit here and watch this video, go check out the PS uh, Walkthrough, of course. External servers. So these are all the servers that we have within the server, in the community, etc. I am not going to show the uh, server links, of course, because these are... Uh, fully trained member server links, of course. So if you're in the uh, civilian operations, you join the civilian channel. 
if you are in LEO, you join the LEO channel. We got server debates. Uh, so these are the server debates, keeping the community active, of course. We got quote of the day. We got server rules, uh, roleplay rules, punishment system, civilian guidebook. And then you have the category uh, for the CAD and Zillow. You have the general chats, uh, uh, server suggestions, uh, arts category. Uh, you got the reported tickets. So if you want to report anyone, you go here. You got the server elections. We do elect governors, presidents, all that type of stuff, or police chiefs, all that type of stuff. So this is very important to be active in here so you can actually vote for your community or even apply to become the governor or uh, police chief or whatever. You got government alerts, roster, etc. You have the uh, code zero information, patrol information, in-game extras. You got pretty much everything you need to role play within here. So that is everything i am gonna go through here today i hope this video helped you uh this was just a complete server walkthrough hopefully i explained everything as much as i possibly can uh subscribe to this youtube channel we're going to be doing reviews and uh, walkthroughs over everything have a wonderful day